Hello, I'm Tina and welcome to Lakeshore Academy. Today I am going to be explaining to all the new fun schoolers out there about how to build your fun schooling basket. I know I've been seeing a lot of questions about how do I build a basket, what do I need to use, how do I do it because the idea of building a basket is a new concept for most of us and we're not familiar with it so I'm just basically here to try to give you a few ideas on how you can build your own fun schooling basket to accompany your thinking tree journals now today I'm going to be talking about these three journals in particular and they're all basically dealing with science um well they're all science but different aspects of science I have the nature journal I have all about animals and I also have all about animals creative writing now in my now keep in mind this basket is for two children um, and they both share this basket together because before I try to have an individual basket for each individual subject plus child but I had too many baskets and I, I was running out of room so what I decided to do was the journals that are alike in some ways or in the same subject so to speak I kept I put those in the same basket um, so therefore that's why I have these three journals in the basket because it's all dealing with animals or science or nature so I put these three in the same basket but um, the kids they pull out the journal what they're using at the moment but I have everything in one journal just to be efficient in space so these are the three journals that we're using. I'm going to show you the, the materials that we have in our homeschool basket for, for our fun schooling basket. We have a visual dictionary of animals. We have a collection of zoo book magazines. We also have a book all about horses. I'm gonna flip through because it's a real beautiful book. I hope you can see some of it. For all those horse lovers out there. By the way, this book will also go very, very well with Sarah Brown's horse journals. Um, the center all around horses. This will go perfectly with that as well. Not only with Science or the animals, but it will go well with that as well with the um the horse journal, do it yourself horse journals. We also have the Usborne Science Encyclopedia. Just to give you just a quick little snippet of what's in the book. We also have, and I was. I went to Dollar Tree and got these so you can check out your local Dollar Tree to see can you find these it's, they have like a whole like series of Natural Geographic flashcards and we have these and we also have these matching card games with the animals we have this which we absolutely love they use this when they're doing the research journal and also when they're working on the other one as well but they really utilize this a whole lot when they're doing their um creative writing and research because this um this wildlife explorer has everything in it i'm just going to show you just a little bit of it let me see which way to go just to show you a little example okay like for example you see the lion right there and you see how it opens up and then it's the back side uh yeah now you can see it so it's very very detailed it talks about a lot of different things about um it's very very detailed so they do a lot of research with this book let me just see can i flip through it so you can see it because it's pretty big. It's a lot. 
Well, at any rate, this is what they use for doing their research in. You can get this Wildlife Explorer. I did see them for sale on um, Amazon. I'm not too sure whether or not it's on eBay or not, but I personally, I received this from another teacher. So, um, but I did search and I did see this um, for sale on Amazon about a couple of weeks ago. So, I hope this helped you out to give you a couple of ideas. Oh, I forgot. We also have a camera so they can take pictures and go and look for different animals and different things within the community. And in the yard or wherever they're at, grandma's house, they can like find different stuff, especially in particular with this nature journal. And we also have this view master. And for those of you who don't know what a view master is, um, basically it's an old school toy, a 3D um, like binoculars, but you don't, you put like a disc in it. Let me show you. Uh oh, okay. Can't get it open. They have their own little disc that you put inside the viewer. And then you pull down. And you can see different animals and different stuff like that now, according to the disc. Now, the three discs that I have is about dinosaurs, the safari, and marine life. Marina life. So, these three will go perfectly, except for the dinosaurs. It will go perfectly with the nature, um, the nature and the science journal. The kids really like that. I just, I just purchased it from Amazon because I used to have one of these when I was a child. So I was kind of shocked that they still make these. But anyway, I hope that this gives you some ideas um, on what you can put in your fun schooling baskets because I know sometimes the, the new concept of fun schooling, quote unquote and building a basket can become overwhelming because you want to make sure you're doing it right but there is no wrong way to do it because you can basically put whatever you want in your basket and you will be right <laughs> it's basically whatever you want whatever your children want in their basket that accompanies the thinking tree product or the thinking tree book in which you are using so this is tina from lakeshore academy i hope that you um, stop it by. What I plan to do is do some more videos of how we have our baskets to give you a little bit of ideas on how to do it or to see our way that we do the baskets in my home and then you can pretty much take ideas from what I do and just build upon what you would like to do in, with your basket. I hope this helped in some way for the new ones who just starting out with fun schooling and trying to get ready for the next upcoming school year trying to figure out how to do the basket so i hope this helped in some way again like i said this is tina from lakeshore academy and i'm so glad that you stopped by today have a good day bye